Greetings Guzzlers, we're doing a bit of baking. Actually, it's a bit of a rush job this, because I had a bit of trouble getting enough ingredients, so I didn't start it as early as I should have done, because I'm making a novelty cake again. If you remember, we made that Snoopy cake. Well, we're gonna make, um, oh sorry, a Snoopy cake, and I made a poop emoji cake, but this is another poop emoji cake, but a little bit different, all right? Um, not my idea, nicked it off the web. I think it was Zoe's, but I'll double check that and I'll put it in the credits um, or in the comments rather as to who I got the idea from. Now, what I've baked is three about seven inch um, Madeira cakes, okay? And I've trimmed the tops flat and first thing we want to do is obviously turn them into a toilet roll. So I need to make a hole in the center. So cookie cutter's not quite deep enough. So I've got a glass my France World Cup glass, it's still got a full time for a break it now. And all I'm gonna do is get that into the center and then carefully just twist it down so that I can pull out the center of that cake, okay? Now I've done one already. I've got the third one to do, so I can say three layers. For that size cake, really it wants to be a little bit more than three of them thickness, but needs must all right so i'm just going to get that out of there get the other one cut and we'll start assembling but before um, i do that I should point out i've already got my cake board ready and i've made up a batch of buttercream just standard buttercream butter and icing um, standard recipe nothing special bit of vanilla essence and then we're going to use that to stick these together and also to coat the outside before we do our fondant oh i forgot got a remote over here now there you go, they're all cut. So first off, what I'm gonna do is I'll put some of that buttercream into um, the piping bag, and I'm just going to pipe some buttercream onto the base of the cake board. And we're gonna take the first one, and we're just going to stick that down onto the cake board. Need to do a little bit of trimming around there. Okay, and then with a pallet knife, all I'm going to do is just spread some of that buttercream up the middle. Ooh, up the middle. Um, by the time we've stacked all this together, it's going to be a bit tricky to actually get it all up through the middle. So we need to sort of do it as we go. So I'm just piping some buttercream on there. Oops. I'll take my next layer, get nicely lined up, and don't worry about any spilling out because remember we're going to be covering the whole thing in it. So again, just going to put a little bit so that I can just put some on the inside. Actually, I don't know why I'm squirting out of there. I might as well take it out of there when I've got the rest of it. And so I'm just going to do the inside of that. And then pipe the note of new lot of dust cream and put the next one on top. So that's got them all stacked. And now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get what's left in there just on the top. And all we're going to do now is spread that over the top in a nice even layer. This is where having your um, Turntable is helpful. The wife has been clearing up. The wife has been putting things away in cupboards to clear the area. Doesn't help when she then buries everything. So I can't get it. So I'm going to give it a bit of a smoothing in a bit. But what we're now going to do is I'm just going to Take the buttercream and we're now just going to coat the whole cake a nice layer of buttercream and then we'll do some smoothing so it's had a bit of a smoothing but the buttercream's getting a bit warm now so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put that in the fridge for a little bit and then when it's hardens a little bit i'm just going to stick my finger in it i'm just going to go over it uh, with another little smoothing thing and then when that is sort of set, 
we can worry about doing the fondant. Okay, so, um, not too worried, but the smoother I'm getting it, the better. All right, but obviously we're gonna be covering this in a lot of white fondant. Okay, so this is our toilet roll. Almost there now. Well, hang, because I still want that bloody fondant to do. So, cake's come out. I've given it a little bit of a light scraping over. And what I've got now is some white fondant. Um, and I'm just going to now roll this out. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make, I'm just using a little bit of corn flour here, just to stop it sticking. And we're just going to roll this out so it's big enough to cut out a circle to sit on top of the cake. And this will be eventually top of our toilet roll. So this plate is actually exactly the right size. So I'm just gonna cut this out. And then we're just going to apply it to the top of our cake. Just trying to get that off there. So bring the cake in and now we just sit that on top of our cake give it a bit of a smooth out now it's actually sunk a little bit in the middle so we can just work out where the hole is and all I'm going to do is I'm now just going to trim round to take that circle out the middle. So I've gone round, trimmed round the inside there, rounded it off a little bit. I've also just trimmed round the outside. Now I'm not too worried because obviously the outer wrapping of paper is going to go around there. So I'm just going to put this on one side. I'm risking everything every time I pick this up. And what we want to do now is make some brown card to go in the middle. Now the brown I've got is a little bit too strong because I've got dark brown. So make me poop. Alright, so I'm going to take some of that and some of the white and blend it together. And then we're going to roll that out so that it's deep enough that it can sit in our cake and obviously wide enough if you like so we can form the roll in there. So I'm just going to get blending these together to get the right colour. I don't know why I keep coming over here. I've got a remote, even though it don't always work. So I've rolled it up. Okay, I've cut it about the right length. And what I'm going to do is I'm now going to attempt to, to drop that. Actually, I might just have to get some of that buttercream out of there because it's stopping me sending it down. So now I'll just drop this down in there. I've got it wrapped around a little dowel. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use that to push it out so it's all round whoops all round the inside I'll get a bit of corn flour on that stop it sticking one of the problems with um molding it together to get the cut paper color was of course it tends to make the fondant a bit stickier so now that we've got that on there, I can just run around the top and trim it and then we can smooth it once we've taken that excess off. So that's now got our toilet roll inside, can't really see it that well, um, I'm not going to tilt it up too much, it's going to fall off. So now what we need to do is just have a little bit of clear up here and we're now going to roll out some white. Now, well for this we're going to need a texture mat, because obviously we want it to look like paper. So I need to get my texture mat out, I need to get myself plenty of white um, thing and trace up, uh, clear up any trace of the brown, because I already picked up a little fleck of brown which I've just cut off, okay? And then we're going to roll it big enough that we can coat it all one way round, but that isn't the end of it. So, I've just, whoops, 
that's caught up on there um, what I'm doing now is I'm just going around the plane unfortunately that's stuck on that bit I put some corn starch on the roller so that we could go round now it don't matter that bit's torn because I've got enough excess here so now all we're going to do now is go round obviously trim round the bottom trim up that side there trim round the top and I might just apply lightly the texture mat around the outside surface outside surface so we want to give it the illusion that it's obviously made of sheets so what we're going to do is we're going to create some seams so I'm just using my ruler trying not to get too much of a crease on top but don't worry about that and then over this side we're going to do the same there now using our ruler we're now just going to lightly press down on that bit and each bit where we've created the illusion of this seam and then this is where you're going to need one of your fondant tools the little wheel unfortunately I've only got a really tiny little wheel but that doesn't matter and what we're going to do is we're now just going to run that wheel up that seam to give the illusion of the perforations that you would normally get along the seam. So we're going to do that on all four seams. And then, whoops, with a bit of drift then. And then we've got at least something that is beginning to resemble a little bit more like the sheets. Now, using something like a comb tool, what we're going to do is we're just now, this is why it will be easier with the turntable because we can turn it and we are just scoring lightly some lines or circles around until we've got the illusion of the wrapped up paper so oops I also gave it a little bit of a smoothing to get rid of them ridges that we had from where we laid the ruler across the top and it sort of sunk into it a bit. So, we're almost there with our roll, but what we want to do, just make it a little bit more authentic, is a, a bit of a loose sheet. So, what I'm going to do is go find the bit that looks a little bit this, a little bit more messy, I think we'll do it on that bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to roll out enough so it's the same depth and basically well, one quarter of that circle wide and texture it and then we're going to apply it over the top of that okay but I'll show you I'm going to get it rolled get it textured and then I'll show you how we're going to finish it off on there so I'm just going to apply that sheet onto there line it up against that seam there I'm just going to trim this down so it matches the seam that's on there when it decides to behave itself but what I'm going to do is I'm letting this fold back and I made a little pellet of fondant here and we're just going to stick that under there and then I'm just going to apply my texture mat over that bit to give the illusion that there's a corner folded back over 
Um, so the only other little thing you need to do is just obviously once I've just pressed that down to join that on there, we just want to smooth that in a little bit so it doesn't look quite so proud and trim around the bottom because I think around this edge here it just needs a little bit of a trim and that then completes our toilet roll so the only thing we've got to do now is add in I also have a little bit of a clean up around the bottom I don't know if you noticed okay uh, all we've got to do now is I'm just going to make sure that's finished need a little bit of clean up there I notice and then what we're going to do is we're going to make our poop emoji and he's going to sit on top it's hard work this and given I am the guzzling gourmet and it's oh well after six nice little GMT cheers by the way my wife bucket up was going to have raspberry gin so she put in raspberry gin and then she did hers which is a juneberry gin and realise she put two together. So I've got Juneberry Rasmi. Very nice. Right, so now we're going to make our poop. So we're going to need some white to make some eyes, some black to do the eyes, mouth. Um, we're going to need some brown. So I've got a big lump of brown there. And then I've got two smaller balls and an even smaller ball brown. Although I might need to make that a little bit bigger. And so what we're gonna do is we start off by making our poop. So I'm just gonna roll this out. I don't really wanna to roll too well. It's probably gonna to be too much here. And so just get to one end and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flatten it a bit so that I can now just wrap this around and then I'm just gonna mold it up to give him a little bit on top okay so we just put him by to one side um, with one of our bigger balls and actually I think that might be just a little bit too much there what we're now going to do is we're going to roll that but we want to keep it slightly thicker at one end we want a little bit of a dent in it because these are going to be his arms okay oops it's very slippery on it roll that out and we give it a little little bit of a dent and then down where his hands are, maybe blade gone. I've lost my blade on there. What we're gonna do, we're just going to give him some little fingers on the end. So that's two arms done. And then with this one, we're just gonna roll this into a long thin sausage. I can't understand why this is slips. Earlier when I was rolling that fondant, the bloody thing kept sticking, didn't it? Now, this bloody thing won't stick, stick, so I can't roll it. So we're just going to roll this out, and then I'm just going to cut it. There's a bit more than I need. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that in half, and then we're just going to fold him up a little foot. That one, it's play ball, and there's that one. So we've got two arms, two feet, a poop, and now we're going to make the eyes. Now, to do that, we're going to need to roll the white out and the black out uh, because we're going to make some discs. Okay, this is first in work, isn't it? So using a nice large um, piping thing, we're going to use the obviously the back end. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut two circles of white. And then I'm just going to slightly elongate them. And 
and then using a smaller one I think this might be about right I'm going to cut two black circles This is, uh, now I said to you about the stuff not sticking to, so I could roll it bloody black won't do anything but stick so we just cut out two little circles okay and now I lay them so partly over the eye a bit thick that bit do another one partly over the eye onto one side and then what we're going to do is now we're going to shape it so actually I want that white flat um, we're now just going to shape it so it's a little bit more like the eye that we want so it's going to be a little bit tricky this I think I better have a green so I've trimmed my eyes, um, I've laid them quite close together, so you go, you can see there how I've cut it to go around the edge of the eye and then I've just flattened a bit off at the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll an eyebrow, so the idea will be that will sit across the top. almost there um, but all we've got to do now is produce our mouth and a little catch light in the eye and then we can start building up our final poop I've got a little brush and some water and what we're going to do is we're just going to apply his eyes onto the side of the poop here so I'm just going to add a little bit of water there and pick up this eye I'm just going to attach it there and then I'm just going to add a touch of water on the top there and attach that eyebrow and then next to that eye we're just going to add the second eye and again a little touch of water on top to add the other eyebrow perhaps his eyes are a little bit big it don't matter and then a little bit of water down there where I'm going to attach his mouth where I've added a little bit of a tooth line and so now all we're going to need to do is obviously arms and legs and stick him on the cake so we're going to take one of these arms okay and just add a little bit of water on the side there and this arm we're just going to attach up there just a little bit more water under there and then a bit of water down there and they can't see very well at the moment so basically, he's got his hand on his poop, if you like. Okay. And then the other arm, we're going to attempt, the trouble is this is going to be a little bit floppy, I think. We're going to attempt mm -hmm. to stick his arm. I do beg your pardon if you heard that noise from upstairs. It's disgusting. Um, we're going to put his other arm on the side here, but I think we might need to just let that dry a little bit to get that stuck on there. Okay. So just a little bit of water on there. I'm going to put that on there. But I'm not sure how well that's going to stay. I might need to adjust that a little bit later as it goes. So. 
there's our poop so it's just cake and legs now so we're going to sit him on top just quite near the fold so just going to apply a bit of water just to help him stick and then I'm just going to have to reattach that arm in a minute so we're going to sit him near the edge so that his feet can dangle over so this is where we just need to a little bit of water up in there tuck his leg up just bend it down over that bit of paper and same on that side tuck it in oops flatten it a bit funny bring it down and there we have our poop on a roll so we're just letting him dry out a little bit and we're ready then to just cut it all up and destroy it yeah i like quite like it i've been eating it sod it so there we go courtesy of i think it was zoe but i will confirm in the comments emoji poop on a toilet roll <laughs>